Yeah, they have like one million members. One million. That's what yeah, they have one million members. It's already shared. So it's famous in Pakistan. One million. One million members, followers. They have. Peter. Oh wow, incredible. It's, it's quite famous in Pakistan. Oh really? Uh, he does all those things. You know, he goes to different different ground, promote oh, players, and. मेडल नहीं है ऐसे ऐसे फोटो निकाल लेना मेडल्स नहीं जस्ट ऐसे पकड़ के ले लेना मेडल्स में बाद में देती Okay guys, so here we are, the second semi-final. Alright. Oh, very well, very well placed by Rahim Ali there. Four runs. Very well guided there by Rahim Ali. Four runs. Follow the name, Muhammad Umair Khan. Four runs to Rahim Ali. I mean, Rahim Ali there. Plays at a Premier League standard in Derbyshire. Very talented batsman. Played some awesome knocks as an opener for the Conquerors. Again, fielded there this time. Second semi final. Uh, okay. So, thank you. So, my corner of strike. Yes, uh, this is the captain, by the way, Suleiman Khan. And that's his game. He goes from ball one. He has an open license and goes from ball one. Uh, oh, look up again, Rai Bali. Very well bowled. Dot ball. Last four. Mohammed Umair Khan is a bowler. Very well bowled. Very well bowled. Two overs gone. Two overs. Thirteen runs. Last ball the last over. The Hawks added to bowl his second over. Suleiman Khan, the captain on strike. With swings, misses. Wide ball. Wide ball. Wide ball. The conquerors here from Derby have done very, very well. Same as Camillo Warriors to reach the last four. The country. Suleiman Khan has it is straight. Single. Single. 
Sahib Ali. Classy batsman, very stylish player. Uh, then again, the Derby Conquerors, I've got some serious talent awaiting there to come in. Like the names of Zaroub, Zubi, Justin Watson, Mahmoud, Tariq, Zain Ashfaq. Serious batting line up there. <clears throat> A very strong middle order. Oh, slower ball, slower ball. Very well bowled, very well bowled. Here come. The captain there, Suleiman Khan, he did not pick it. He made space. Wanted to launch it for a big one, but he did not pick the slower ball. Uh, sky that one. Two fielders coming round. No. Single. Good over this for the Camilla Warriors. Four but nothing so far. Last ball. Last ball of the over. Shot! Pull for six! Rahim Ali! What a shot that was! A must needed boundary there! Last ball off the over! Three overs, 20! Three overs gone, 23! 23 for not after three overs! 23! 23 after? Three overs, 23! What a shot that was! Rocked back on his back foot! Pulled it for six! <coughs> Straight coming out in the middle of the bat! Captain back on strike, Suleiman Khan. So this is a decent start by the Conquerors. 23 for no half to three overs. Mohamed Umayy Khan to bowl his second. It's a big, big semi final. This Kumela Warriors once again a very, very strong side. Full of talented players. Shot down the ground. One. Yeah, I'm on the play. Ah. Yeah, single. You're filming Jesus. Single. Good, sensible cricket this from Derby Conquerors. Yeah. Very good cricket, sensible cricket by Derby Conquerors. They're here. They're here. My voice a little guy, so it's very good. Cheers, man. Thank you. Thank you. Right, the scorer, the, the umpire, is right, but he's still in there. But he's wrote down, stopped by Awan and bowled by Khan. I don't know whether he's made a mistake or something, but. Yeah, right, but he's still in there. Four runs, four runs, four runs. What a shot that was. What a shot. Flicked off his leg, Rahib Ali, four runs. For some reason, on the scorecard, it says Rahib Ali is out. Have you seen have you not seen the scorecard? Oh, now he's coming in. Rahib Ali playing. Last ball. Sensible inning here, last ball of the inning. Sorry, of the over. You can join. What can do? No, no, but I'll put that. Single. Good one. Thirty-one for after four overs. Four overs. Thirty-one.
coming into bow now for the conquerors. Burhan Mehmood. Spinners on now. The captain is Ramon Khan. He loves playing spin. His favourite song goes down and one knee and hits in cow corner. That's his favourite shot, but... Oh, white ball. White ball. White. Uh, good start. This is by the Conquerors going at eight and over. What a catch. What a catch. Out. The captain has gone. Suleiman Khan. Suleiman Khan, the captain. He's the captain, right? Yes. Uh, the next man in is Mamoon Tariq. Mamoon Tariq, the next man in. <laughs> Rahib Ali batting very sensibly. 21 of 14. Coming into bat, Mahmoud Tariq. Three balls to come of the fifth over. Only three runs off it. 34 for one. 34 for one after five. Coming into bowl for Mumela Warriors, Munirul Islam. One strike. Very well played. Flipped for one. Very well played by Rahib Ali. 
two runs. Shot by Ryan Willis straight down the ground. Four runs. <coughs> Four runs. What a shot that was straight down the ground. Walked out to the bowler. And four runs. Cheeky again by Ryan Bali. Two runs again, comfortable two. Rahe Bali has done very well this season Six for the Conqueror as, as an opener. He's batted really well all season. Twenty nine of twenty Rahe Bali so far. Look at it orange. Just the one. Good ball with this by Burhan Mahmood. Name it. Very talented cricketer, Burhan. And then Jarek cuts it for one or just the one. Everybody will be like 46 for one after seven. 46 for one after seven. That's six and a half now. <laughs> Seven overs, forty six for one. Conquerors definitely here need one of these two to go on and get a fifty and retire and Push that target towards the 160 plus mark for a decent total. The wind there is blowing in the opposite direction. Six! What a shot! Top edge that one as well. And top edge. Today from Italy. Two balls to come. Six to Memon Tarek. So yeah, I reckon a 160 plus would be a very good 
target for the Camellia, Camellia Warriors, but then again, they are a very decent team with a couple of very sensible batsmen. Oh, shot. That's gone. That's four. That's four. No, he stopped. That stopped two runs. Oh, I did it really well, but stopped just before the ball. Eight overs, 57 for one. 57 for one after eight. 57 for one after eight. Just going over seven and over here. Yeah, one six is a good. Yeah, well, I reckon 160 plus would be a bonus. Yeah, but 160 hopefully. You can do something with the ball. Anything less? Yeah, but then again, the Camilla Warriors. I mean, we're from Derby, they're from London. Yeah. But we play a lot of cricket against yeah. each other, with each other throughout the years, so we know a few of their players yeah. and what they're capable of. They play, and they know they play us. different leagues in London. They do, well. yes. The yes, they do, yes. Yeah. Now I'm going to try to strike. Uh, yeah, ball's quick, like Yes. <laughs> it's a very good ball. It's a very good ball. Burhan is a very good bowler, yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's a, a very good bowler. He normally doesn't spin the ball that much. Okay. He just tries, tries to use the pace in his bowling. So it's different the, the boss will be able to. Oh, yeah. Shot! Rahi Bali gets down on his knee. Blast out for six. plan is <laughs> Uh, that, that I, I also, I'm also thinking what are they using all the spinner from that end? All the spinner from the smaller end. Yeah, yeah, like XO such. Even if it's an edge. No, we cut that. We cut that. Yeah. XO, see, it's a boss. Why isn't the video coming on? Huh? It is. It's on. It's on. It's on. It's on. It's on. It's always a lot. Two balls behind. No, it's on. It's on. It's on. It's frozen, they say. No, no, no. It's on. Tell them you follow the YouTube channel. YouTube stream, YouTube stream. stream. I don't know what the link is. It's the same live going link. If you see YouTube, then. Yeah. Uh, 64, I'm going to go. Follow YouTube. You know the live stream, live going link. Go there, tell them it's live going link. You yeah. see the YouTube button. Yeah, just press the YouTube button. Go to the YouTube button. Yeah. Yeah. You can see it properly. Yeah. See? Check it out. Right. There are, you see the group. But they are called the Wicks, I'll go off the page. Is that the one? Yeah, that's the link. Yeah, that's the link. Click on it, share it in your page. Just go up on Facebook, I've shared it, Raf. Just share my Facebook. Right, well, he's batting really well here. He's on 38. Shot along the ground. Single. Sixty-seven for one after nine. So yeah, guys, I have lost my voice. To apologise, massive, massive semi-finally against Camilla Warriors. They are the strongest team down here. I far. Hey, you call John in the back of that. That should be there. Okay. Oh, no, no, 1K. 1K, yes. 1K people. Wow. It's, it's going to drop and then come up and come up and drop. See, so I'm standing here. The views are going to be crazy. 1K, 1K. It's the windy, so remember guys, at the end of the bowl that now is the difficult end. The easy end is going to be the next 10 overs. Whoever playing, well, he has shared his one, I suppose. Well, it'll be a lot easier for the batsmen.
Shot. Bebe Muntarek. Four runs. What a shot. What a shot. That was class. Bebe Muntarek. Uh. You had a different team last time, didn't you? Uh, we, had Dab, we had Derby Stars. Oh, Derby Stars, oh. Yeah. Uh, is, is the team, uh, name changed or is it new different? No, team? we've just kissed goodbye to them. Oh. <laughs> we have walked away. We've had many years with them. And I said it's time to walk away. Along with a couple of the players, mm -hmm. Mohamed Zaroub and Asim AB. Well, they're, they the main, they're the main players for Derby Stars. Oh, okay. You we know, thought, we thought you guys recognized, Derby Stars no, come here. recognized around the country. Oh, okay. You know. Uh, yeah, so I walked out and uh, this is a, this is a good team. Yeah, you know, uh, there's some young talent here. Last yeah, it's time to up bring this young talent and bring them. All, all from Pakistan? No, 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 no. all British. Oh, oh all English. All from here. Yeah, yeah. But uh, they have got Pakistani origin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. yeah. Turnovers, 74 for one, bowling change out here. This by the conquerors, 74 for one after 10. <coughs> right, but he's still down 40 of 31 balls. So I reckon. Yeah. So, we're just great to join you in the, the commentary box. I've missed the first 10. We, we're getting a lunch. Can you update me on what's happened so far? Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, I mean, it's been a brilliant 10 over so far for the Conqueror, 74 for one. Coming into bowl, Rahim Ali right, is still in there, Mamun Tariq in there. I mean, it's not that easy to be honest to get some runs here, but I reckon 160 plus is needed definitely by the Conqueror's here for a good competition. And Raj, uh, your voice is holding out. Uh, yeah. I'm very impressed. <laughs> Thank you, Vayne. Uh, I mean, I think it was yesterday the first game and then the quarter-final, you know. I was there uh, in Slough, had him speakers at the out, got the crowd going. We've got some throat lozenges on the way. <laughs> Thank you, Wayne. You know, I think I'll be needing a lot of those, yeah. I'm trying to recover for the final, you know. Hopefully, we'll reach the final. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm praying and hopefully the speaker will come out. But, but you're always neutral though, watch. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. You know, when it comes to cricket, I'm always neutral. I mean, that's why I've got a lot of followers. Yeah, yeah. Now your yeah. commentary's fair. Yeah, yeah thank fair. you. Thank you, Wayne. Yeah. Yeah, it's entertaining you and fair enough. Both teams have enjoyed it, so you don't, oh, only, definitely. You don't only praise your own yeah, teammates. Definitely. You? Definitely, Wayne. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to cricket, you know, yeah. Definitely, you got to be fair. Uh, so this is a good start here from the... Um, is this Zaman bowling here? Yes. He's just darting it in, isn't he? Yeah, rough sand Zaman. Oh, this is a great over. Three dots. Yeah, yeah, three dots. Three dots. So they're they're going to test the, the conquerors here. With their, they've got a lot of spinners in the, in the side here. Uh, we have a couple. We have a couple. Uh, uh. We've got quite a lot of viewers watching at the moment, and we're just going to talk about the leagues around the country. We may as well start with the Derby League. Tell well, me a bit about the Derby League. I, I mean, I've, well, to be honest, this season I've been uh, to a few different towns and I've seen the standard on that there. But I mean, I'm not saying this because I'm from Derby, but the Derby and Nottinghamshire League, I've got to say, is one of the strongest. Oh, that's what not a yet. shot! What a shot! One down on his knee! New balls! Rivalry! That's into Wimbledon tennis court. There. Yes, definitely, Wayne. Yes. <laughs> Huge six there by Rahibali. So, yeah, I was telling you about the Derbyshire Nottingham League. You know, definitely one of the strongest in the country by far. Some amazing teams with some amazing talent. You know, a Premier League cricket as this is. Uh, yeah, it's been brilliant. And uh, the weather, to be honest, hasn't been too good this year around. 
as all cricketers would would agree with me. But yeah, it's been good. And once again, you know, playing the semis and the nationals is putting Derby on the map is is a dream coming true again. You know, hopefully we could make it to the finals. Yeah, with more shots like that last one, <laughs> that'll help. Yeah, definitely. That was a clean hit. It was, yeah. And well, it's just unfortunate because Zaman had bowled a good over up until then, wasn't it? Definitely, just, yeah. Yeah. That's 82 from 1 after 11. 82 from 1 after 11. I mean, to be honest, uh, I'm a most dangerous batsman. So <coughs> I'll still to come in. It's uh, Ahmed Zarub and Justin Watson from yeah. South Africa. And they're two different styles of oh, players. Oh, yes, definitely. Zarub's so um, like a stroke yeah. maker. Yeah. And, and Watson's Justin. power. Well, Abe. Well, we call him Abe de Villiers as well. Yeah. You know, he's... Uh, Look, he's coming around the course. He's absolutely brutal. Yeah, Justin is absolutely brutal. But to be honest, in Derby as well, when he's... When he gets his 50, I've not seen him get a... You know, I've not seen him take up more than like 17 balls. Oh, wow. he gets his 50. Yeah, we yeah, saw that yeah. yesterday. Yeah, he's uh, absolutely amazing. Eighty-five from eleven point two overs. Yeah, what do you think that the Conquerors will be targeting? One seventy. Well, I'm, hope, I'm, I'm hoping so. That the stage we're on now, I'm with with the batsmen to come in. You know, I think we should push for one seventy. Oh, good running between the wickets there. That's the wicket. Uh, I mean, I did say 160. Rahib Ali, 50 of 37. Wow, what a knock that was by Rahib. 50 not out of 37. He's given the team the insurance policy. Definitely, definitely. It's always nice to know yeah. you've got your... So if you're, <clears throat> would you call him the anchor man? We do indeed. We do man. indeed, yes. Uh, Mohammed Zaroub to come in next. It's perfectly placed now for Zaroub and <laughs> yes. Watson to come in. and Definitely, oh yes. We saw yesterday they pulled a platform and they got hard in that back, back oh, yeah. eight overs Definitely, with the wickets yeah. in hand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so hopefully, I mean, from this stage, I reckon 170 plus we're looking at now. Uh, it, feels, it feels a long way off, but what we know the firepower that the, the Conquerors have got. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But yeah, I mean, it's always good, like, when one out of the top three get a 50 and they retire, you know, so it's brilliant. Because that's, uh, you know, that's 100% assurance for the team. So if you do need to quick fire or, or, or speed up a little. Man, good to see you. You know, so the players in the middle do have a free license, as they know that Rahim Ali can, can come back in still. So I shouldn't need him. There's only one well, down. Yeah. You shouldn't need him, but you never know. Yeah, but I mean, my habits are good. Shots of a appeal there. Yeah. Umpire signaled early to say, yeah. the pad. But yeah, I mean, my habits are good. What a name he's made in the country for himself. I mean, on many occasions I've come down south, down there, around Wimbledon, and Slav, healing. You know where 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 other clubs and captains have like hired him as a player. I've just looked at his um he's played eighty eight games of last man stands now. Yes, that's right, yes. He has played eighty eight. Oh it's uh, good bowling here. It's a good battle on you. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. yeah he's played eighty eight games. He's got a strike rate of two hundred and seven. Yeah. Look, most of the Lost Man Stands games are, are they played in turf wickets there in, in Derby, in the Super League? Yeah, yes. Uh, yes. Striking a 207 on turf wickets is impressive. Very, very. Uh, I mean, this is good from Derby Stars, uh, the, sorry, the, the Conquerors, Derby Conquerors. 87 for one after 12 moments. I think the boys will be quite comfortable with that, quite happy. So, as I'm on to continue. Hold a tidy first over, just his last one went for six. Mamun Tariq on strike. Down the ground, one run, one run. Zarub again, a very good player off the spin. <coughs> just a question, don't you, just a, a thought in my head, don't, don't you think they may be leaving Watson and Zarub too late? Don't you think there should be three and four? Or do you uh, think I, well, I, well, I mean, to be honest, Rahib, 
you know, by far is, is our opener. Yeah. Uh, and normally Mamun Tariq opens with him, shot by Zaru. Uh, but yeah, so uh, we changed the format at the Nationals, which happened in Nottinghamshire. Uh, the ones we want to reach here. Yeah. So, and it worked quite perfect for us, to be honest. Yeah. Shot that. Right, Jack, my oh, there's one fielder out there. Very well fielder. Camilla, have been good in the yeah. field, Jack. Yeah, so we played played around a little with the batting order, and uh, it's actually working quite well. It's a loop coming in at number, uh, number four, and Justin at number five. Oh, ball. Well, 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 then. See the wicket, the oh, used wicket, so there's a bit, there's yeah, a bit of, um, yeah, the odd one stops, and there's a bit of, bit of bounce, so I do think 160 is a good score here. Definitely, definitely, yes, by far, 160. I mean, after watching the first game, I think 136. Yeah, and then compared to the score. Uh, was, it, was it target? Shot by Zeru. Hit the gap four runs. What a shot. It just it shows the experience there. This guy's deep yeah. in his crease. Wait definitely, for definitely. I mean, he plays deep in his crease because most of his life he's played tape ball cricket. Oh, wow. And he's very, very well known for tape ball cricket. And obviously, I'm not saying this because he's my player. Uh, but, uh, I mean, the team we're playing against is owned by Johal Bai. Uh, who, who, who's from here? And he just come on. He just come over and met me not long ago at okay. Zubi, and he will he will he will match for, for Zubi as well. I mean, by far he is one of the best tape bowlers in the country. He's in the top three. Okay. Yeah, and, and, and when it comes to tape ball, I mean these boys do white ball. On that on the keeper. White ball. Yeah. So you're saying. Table. Yeah, I was telling you about tape ball that when when the boys are playing tape ball, they do bat deep. They bat really deep. You have to continue. Oh, that's big. Shot by Mamoun. Six runs. What a shot there by Mamoun Tarek. Six runs. So Mamoun Tarek here, just speeding up a little. He's changed gears. Now, do you think he's got full license now? Because he, he has definitely. Wants it to come. He doesn't have to worry about getting out now. I thought it was Johal. Johal is the sponsor. Oh, sorry. That's it. Sorry, Johal. Johal is the sponsor, yes. For Camilla Warriors. This is chapter two. There should be two. Uh, uh, just, just, the one, the one. just the one. Just the one. Just the one. Just the one. There's a breeze. Would you say they hit it into the wind? No, I just... A, I think... Uh, it's a slight breeze. It's hard to know. It's swirling a bit, isn't it? Here it is. Here it is. Yeah, it's still... Uh, Miller, Warriors, they play the, the elements cricket in London. This, off the putt, legs, should be running away for four. Keepers, gonna have to go hard. Going for three. Good running that very Excellent good Excellent awareness running. there. Very good running, three runs. Very good running that three runs. That often can be the difference. Uh. You gotta run between the wickets hard, I've seen. In the previous semi-final, two power-hitting teams, but at times I feel that left yeah, maybe a, yeah. a few running between the wicket That's opportunities right. a miss. I think a lot of teams that are watching this watch the professionals and that the conquers play the LMS cricket. It's not only about hitting it out the park; they run between the wickets hard, and they also they cut off the field, the the, the, the angle as well in the field. Definitely, the Wayne. Definitely. I mean, I think I think when it comes to that, I think all-round cricket. Uh, well, it was great shot. shot. What a shot by Mamun. Really speeding up there, Mamun. Just opened the face uh, of the bat there. Yeah, Mamun Tarek. Another another great all-rounder from, from Derby. Young talent. Uh, doing really well, to be honest. I mean, normally he opens the batting with Rahi Bali. Last ball. But recently we've just changed the batting order and, and, and it's working quite well for us. Uh, he's definitely he's put down the... Pedal now. Going straight down the ground. Didn't quite time that, but it's four more. Oh no, brilliantly oh. fielded. Very good fielding that was. Saved two runs, saved the boundary. I've given that uh, boundary already, but that is outstanding. I yeah, I'm saying. 14 overs, 111 for one. 111 for one after 14. This is decent. 
Yeah. So for those of you viewing the footage now and you wondering how you can get involved in Last Man Stands, go to the website lastmanstands.com and you can register. There's leagues all over the country. You're watching a team from London, the Camilla Warriors, taking on a team from Derby, the Conquerors. Yeah. We've also got leagues in Nottingham, Coventry, Manchester, <coughs> Birmingham, Bristol. The season will start again next April. Wad, are you going to get the pads on or are you? <laughs> I, think I've, I think I've passed our state, Wayne. Okay. I mean, I still, I still play in the Derbyshire County Cricket League. Yeah. Uh, play at a Premier League club. Yeah. Uh, we've got some amazing talent there. Which club do you play for? Alvesina Bolton. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, we've got some amazing talent in Derbyshire all round. Uh, Bowler now coming on to bowl. Is this um, Munal Islam? Islam. Munal Islam again, huh? Spinner, yep. Mohamed Zarub on strike. I mean, he's a very good player off the spin. Yeah. Zarub. It's a great context. I'm really enjoying this. <clears throat> Two good teams yet. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, I'm 37, so I think he's looking at to get yeah. It's 50 in no time here. We'll be looking to do it in... <laughs> and, to send, oh. and to send Justin in next, but... Uh, yeah, same again. I mean, Justin, to be honest, only plays about 10 to 15 balls. Yeah, just what I've noticed, I think with this wicket, it's because it's used, this is the fourth game on it, now fifth game on it. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's not, I think, that easy for the new batsman straight away to come in and tee off from ball it's, one. It's not, no, but... Oh, no, Shot by Zarub. What a shot! Huge six by Zarub there. Uh, I mean, as I said before, Zarub is a very, very good player off the spin. You know, he's a he's a master class. I was just about to say that he had only had nine of seven, and now suddenly he's got fifteen of eight. Well, so. there you go. You know, a couple of more, a couple of more. You know, hits like that. And oh, good great right shot! I feel the camera. Oh, oh, oh he's four guys in it. He's dropped it. Dropped him for three times there. He's dropped it. He's dropped a huge wicket. I mean, this could cost him. This could cost him. The was only on 15 there. Last four. I think he's hitting. Let's, the wind's quite strong blowing yes. from the leg side. So I think that's actually quite a tough, although it's a small boundary, the wind's blowing. The wind is still blowing towards yeah. us. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great keeping. Good bowling. Outstanding cricket there from Islam. Just fires that one wide. That's right, a good 20. knock from Tariq, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, my little Tariq. He likes to be called Mooney. Mooney? Yeah. Yeah, it's come there. That, that was a great take. But yeah, here comes in the man from Johannesburg, South Africa, Justin Watson. What? Maybe you can give the, the story of um, Justin and how he got involved in... The last man stands. Who, who recruited him? It was actually me. You? Yeah, it was me. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is his first year. Uh, we just went out for a meal one day, and the captain Suleiman Khan is my best friend. Okay. So he goes, he goes, watch. I need a serious all round. I said, look, do you want him from Derby? Obviously, he said, yeah. I said, Justin. I said, in this format. You need to stay. Would you say his bowling is his strength or his batting is his strength in this format? Both. Both, Both yeah. He bowls rockets? He does. Long, yeah. He does, yeah. He's got wheels, definitely. And in the field as well. He's a, good, uh, he's a very, very good fielder. But yeah, we need a little quick fire from him now. Would it be fair to say this is their two best batsmen at the crease now? Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Zeru but Justin. Uh... Definitely the, the best two. Yeah, so it makes it look easy. He's got 18 from 10. Yeah. But he's hot. Well, yeah, he did get. He actually gave away one chance. But besides that, he just maneuvered the ball in the cap. He got one on his legs, and he's, he's targeted that leg side. Now, we've seen he's also got fluent. So he scores fluently through the offside. But do you think he'll be targeting leg side, Joe? Where, where he, do he does. He, he loves playing the spinners, especially cow corner. That's his favorite. There you go. That's out of here again. I said cow corner. Six. I just said it. Spinners. He plays him cow corner, and that was it. Cow corner six. It, just held, up in, it held up in the window, didn't it? Yeah, it did. It did. So, uh, 
But yeah, I mean, I've, I've actually named him the Little Master. And, you know, he is the Little Master, believe you me. He's got every shot in the book. Isn't there a copyright on that little Oh, it's a weird sweep, I'm telling you. Oh, that's a shot. What a shot! Straight down the gun! Zaroop Zupi! What a shot that was! What a shot! Just strong wrist there. Yeah, I mean, you were just talking about it there, Wayne, 18 of... You know, it's hard to do that. He's just got such strong wrists. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I didn't see... Whereas Justin loves pace. <laughs> Yeah. Coming from South Africa, yeah. yeah. Come on. on the bat. <laughs> the half up. Oh. 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 Good over this for the conquerors. Very good over. So one, three, four. So far, one ball to come. Sixteenth over. Should be very happy with this score. Set the way. Field's coming around. Out. Out this time. Out. Caught out. Zaru. Zaru. Caught out on 30. 30 or 14. 14 yeah. Over, yeah. 134 for three. Now, I think they've got. Have they got any more guys in the hat that can give it a hit? Four hard man ball. Four over. 27 runs to two and Much needed wicket for the Camilla Warriors. Which is just starting to get away from them, but that's going to give them some confidence going into this last five overs. They'll be looking to keep it under 160 here. It's a new batsman. Most batsmen haven't actually. Delivery yet. Watson's been there, help, but he hasn't managed to get caught. We've got two best new batsmen here. Yet. We have, yeah, can we have the yes. delivery. Justin Watson. We have the yes. uh, first, first ball. I think. I, I'm, I'm back in the yeah. single. A little nudge onto the offside. The ball one. Definitely ambitious. Confident. <laughs> oh no, he could be out. The field's going. Field. Oh, catch! Oh, <laughs> oh my <laughs> days! What? <laughs> What a catch. Absolute. And great work oh, for my cameraman as well. I think he's injured himself. The wind was just drifting the ball away from him, but an unbelievable box there. Yes. I think grabbing was very good. So if those of you who want to watch that again, you can go to the highlights on lastmanstands.com, click on the match on the live score, and uh, you'll see a little highlights link, and you can see all the fours and sixes and wickets on, on there. So Watson will feel a bit disappointed there. I always think it's worth having a look at the first one, right? Maybe just Definitely. get the used to the pace of the wicket. Um, I know that's the way he plays, but I just felt that he maybe had a chance to give himself a chance to get, get himself in. Hey. So there's an injury here for the Camilla Warriors. He's back on the field, good to see. That was amazing catch, that back. was definitely, and it's, you know what makes it a, it's not just the catch itself, but it's the moment, what, because the definitely. big moment, 
definitely interested. What's it as well? 50, he's, 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 50 of 20 balls. Most, yeah. of the, most he's done. So, yeah. even though there's only four or five overs to go, he's capable of scoring 50 in those four overs. <laughs> yes, definitely. Uh, yeah, I told him. It's a huge moment in the game there. Come on! Yeah, so we got, I think, Zayn Ashfaq. Zayn Ashfaq is the new man in. And suddenly, um, Shabash, Shabash, Rahib yeah. Ali's retirement looks like it's um, a bit more useful than we initially yes. thought. Yeah. Just gives them a little bit more contact. They can still keep going, yeah? yeah. Well, do yourself a favor. Go and have a look at the highlights of that catch just now. <laughs> Lastmanstands.com. Well, I mean, to be honest, it's been caught here right in front of me. So, yeah, <laughs> definitely I will be looking at the highlights. Yeah, like I said, uh, definitely that was an international level catch. Definitely. Yeah, Zayn Ashwak in there. Kabir Mtiaz on strike. Kabir, who also plays for the England national team indoors. Who, Kabir? Yeah. yeah. Is he more of a bowler or more of a bat? All rounder. All rounder. Yeah, yeah, he's an all rounder. This is good cricket, Jack. Good. There's a lot of intensity in this game, you know. Both teams are yeah. up for it, Jack. Yeah. One to the A, so I think surely 160, 165 is definitely on with, with 17 balls to come. Uh, Cut away, that's a great shot. Field's coming around. <laughs> done remarkably well. Camilla have been outstanding in the field yet. They have indeed, yes. They've already indeed. saved at least 15 runs out there. Last ball. Field in such an important part of last man stand cricket. Definitely. Oh, be hit. Oh! It was worth a the chance there. I think he... No one can complain about that there. If he had hit, he was out. Yeah, he was out. 17 overs, 140 for 4. 140 for 4 after 17. I still think this is a competitive score here, won't we? Yeah, I think good. Good, good bowling lineup. Maybe uh, another 25 in the last three, 165. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one, one, I think one, anything above 160 will be Decent a tough ask. Yeah. Yeah. But Camilla have got good batting lineup. They've got some. Um, Stroke makers in this side that will definitely walk. yes. That's a great shot. Just waited for it. Just flicked his wrist. And that's four. four. Superb shot there from Kabir Intiaz. Slow ball, weighted it on it and just flicked his wrist. Come on, hey! Three seconds, wait. I'm in the good eye, so wait. Do it in second for it. Signal that you do it in second for it. Punched into the offside. There should be two field coming around. Good cricket all round. So this is a good level of cricket being played out here. Good bowling. A standing field in. Some good skills with the bat as well. It is definitely, yeah. These, these twos are massive at this stage of the game. You know. Same. Same. The field is going to cut the angle there. Uh, unfortunately, the batsman slipped there. Yeah, Zane, Zane on strike is a very, very powerful player on the offside. Uh, he could see and he does cut it hard, yeah, the ball goes like a rocket. So let's see, maybe a boundary in this over is a must for the Conquerors. White ball. 
white ball. White ball. They'll be happy with that. So yeah, 148 for four after 17.3. What on the um, the chat on the YouTube? Okay. The cricket consultants. Yes. They question, they say, why do you sound a bit rough, pal, late night? <laughs> yeah, he's actually, he's actually our right hand man for the Conquerors. Oh, okay. Yeah, and uh, <coughs> it's his second year, he he provides a lot of first class cricketers from around the world. Oh, okay. Uh, they play all over the country. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he'll be tuning in watching the game? He's definitely watching. He's giving you a bit yeah. of stick about your voice then? <laughs> It's okay. Shot! Shot! What a shot by Kabir there. What a shot. You know? Waited, 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 then boom. 18 overs. It's just pure timing. Yeah. Yeah, so I was telling you about the cricket consultant. I mean, it's really going to be so good. Mohammed Umair Khan. So, yeah. He's actually a right, right hand man, and he should have. He should have been on this tour with us, but his daughter, who's a very, very, I mean, she's only about 13, I think, who's a very, very talented cricketer. Oh, that's great. And she had, to, she had a very important game today, so he goes, look, Waj, I'm sorry. You know, I've got to take, I've got, I've got to be, I said, Sukraj, you do that, buddy. He needs to get his priorities right. Definitely. <laughs> oh, we're bold. We're bold. I'm enjoying this battle, yeah. I am, Both yeah. teams are... I mean, at everything, yeah, the standard of cricket is, is, is quality, yeah. But at this stage, the top ball, I mean, nine balls left. Let's see if we can get another 15. I think that the game plan here should be to get MTS on strike here. Yeah, looks like the clean hits of the two. Yeah. Am I correct in saying that, or am I. Uh, sorry, sorry, I missed you there, Would you say MTS is the, the clean hits of the two? Or? Definitely, yeah. 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 I mean, he must have witnessed that six he just said in the previous game. Yes, yeah, so I think, you know, I think he's got. Shot by Zayn. Two's are handy, though. Two's are good. Two's are good. I mean, Kabir Mtiaz, he is quick between the wickets. Yeah, he's a very, very decent all rounder. When it comes to fielding, by far in Derbyshire, he is the best fielder in Derbyshire, Kabir Mtiaz. Definitely. That, um, also, the indoor cricket always helps that as well. Oh, yeah. Reflexes. Yeah, definitely. Shot! <laughs> offside six! I told you saying that's right on the offside. is very, very strong. I, I think very he heard, strong. I think he heard uh, us saying that uh, <laughs> MTS is the cleaner hitter. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Just proved us yeah, wrong. Yeah, just proved us wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just slapped that over backward push. That's right, yeah. Seven balls left. I mean, seven balls, another 15. 180 would be a massive total here. Massive total. You know, uh, yeah, he is very strong on the offside. Wide ball. Oh, see, he's no. shaping up. Both no ball. Ball, isn't he? No ball. Oh. Then. Oh, bloody, I can't shut. Free hit. I think, uh, he, yeah. although it's a free hit, I think in his head, every ball's a free hit anyway, yeah? He does. He does, because he knows we still have a, a left-hander, Abdullah, to come in and obviously Rahib. It's Rahib still that psychological Rahib. feeling of knowing you can't get out. Always does... Um, Help a little bit, you know. Just definitely, that, definitely, definitely. Wait, yeah. The pressure's on the bowler here now. Can he find a dot? He needs a dot. Under pressure. Free hit. Oh, he's pulled him. <laughs> he's pulled him, but it's on a free hit. <laughs> oh, they run two. They have run two. Dead ball. Should be dead ball. Yeah, it was a free hit. Yeah, but I had this in club cricket the other day. Okay. And the exact same thing happened. And I thought that, that you could run. And the umpires corrected me. Well, they told me they were correct. I wasn't sure. Now, this, we need to look this up. But my understanding is when the ball hits the, the stumps, it's dead. Um, yeah, so my understanding, that should be a dead ball now. So it should be another free hit? No, 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 no. Free no it's just a dead ball. It's just a dot ball. Okay. My understanding... But, you know what, it's one of those ones that I'm going to go and make sure I'll go and look at the ICC rules because and see, see what they say on this thing. But my understanding right, is that on a free hit, you get bowled, it's a straight away, it's a top ball, it's a, it's a top ball, the ball's dead. 
But I think Dom Payaz has given Az a, a dot ball. Well, I think if they've done that, 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 I think they've got that right. Yeah, yeah he's given Az a dot ball, still on 1 6. Last over. Yes. That ball has killed us here in the commentary what box. What a shot by Kabir Diaz. Nearly knocked my head off there. Excellent effort there by Omar. Just in front of us. Full commitment, but that, that was hit like a tracer bullet. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Into the wind. Wayne, Into what the do you think? What do you think? Oh my days, Kabir Imtiaz. I mean, Wayne. I mean, we 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 have a little challenge here. You, it, you think Zayn Ashraq is the bear of the bat, and I said Kabir Imtiaz. You know, so I'm just worried if there's any more sixes like that, you might lose your voice permanently. <laughs> oh, Wayne, yeah, definitely. I am. I am really struggling, but yeah, that was. You know, you just waited on that, waited, waited, and boom. I mean, one seven six with three balls to come. I think the boys are very, very happy in the dugout there. You know, you can tell by the body language and that. You know. Uh. Oh, All around this guy, Dave. What a knock! What this a is. knock! What a what knock! A knock. <laughs> Twenty nine off nine balls, four runs, one bounce, four. Absolutely amazing. I mean, I did, I did tell you Wayne earlier. I mentioned that, you know, he plays for for the national England team as well. You know, indoors. So Justin Watson doesn't get you. <laughs> MTS will get you. Yeah, definitely. Twenty-five of eight. Yeah, yeah. This is some knock, no, yeah. Twenty-nine of nine. Twenty-nine of nine. Yeah, with that four, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two balls come. I mean, one eighty. Brilliant. This is. Congress should be very happy with this score. You know, with their bowling attack, wide ball, definitely wide. And Camilla have hardly put a foot wrong, you know, yeah, just good batting. They bowled ball. well, they fielded yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's not like they've been bowling three Bs, it's just. Yeah. MTS has just been one of those, I don't know how he always, if he always hits it this clean, yeah, but. Yeah. Yeah. Hardly down amazing. the number six. Oh, Another wide. wide. Again. Another wide. Right, Paul. Wow. Do you think he'll uh, warrant to uh, go up the order if they make the final? Do they keep him at six? Yeah, definitely keep him at six. Definitely. Uh, maybe. Hopefully. To be honest, if we do reach the final, to be honest, uh, he will. Yeah, another white hole. To be white at the top. He'll definitely still be there because uh, the way you have a top, top four or five bats. You know, here is here is very balanced. So in last uh, man stands cricket, the first wide's one run and the extra ball, and then it's three. But in the last over, it's like normal cricket. It's yeah. like normal cricket. You have to bowl and rebound. So he's under pressure. Yeah, he's got to keep yeah, the bowl in it. The bowler is under pressure. Come back, Phil's coming around. Oh. Four runs, four runs. Oh my days! Amazing, this is Byron. I was just Come saying, up MTS. until this point, there weren't too many mistakes from Camilla. That's their first mistake in the field. I mean, what do you, what do you, what do you think now, Wayne? You know, just the pressure of the situation. Of, Thirty-six of thirteen. That's no, been a great. Night. You know, uh, I did tell you we do have some hidden talent in Toby. You know, some amazing talent. Uh, One eighty-seven. This is brilliant. Can you get a home run? He hits it for six, it's worth 12. Just flick that. Oh, one look at that. So that thing's so 189 target. 189. Big target. It's a big score on this wicket. Yeah. Sorry for the way, that's a joy in the second innings. Watch, don't get some third well, losses, is it? We're going to be taking a break and we'll be joining you shortly. Camilla Warriors need 189 to win.
So welcome back to Wobbledon Cricket Club. Joined in the commentary box by tournament director Steve Hayes. Welcome Steve. Hello. Steve, how's the tournament gone? What you enjoyed um, running this tournament? Any hassles? Any complaints? No, I think it's all gone really well. Thank you. And it's been um, it's been really fun to organise. Just have some great cricket. Met some really great great people, which is what we always get with last one stands. Made some new friendships, and it's nice to see the teams like you know mingling and getting on. And we got to watch some uh, pretty impressive cricket as well. So standards been high, which is good. Uh, opening the bowling for the Conkers is Justin Watson. He bowls uh, rockets, Steve. So this yeah. is going to be a good watch. A good battle, yeah. My mood's it. Got the gold helmet on. He's a good player. Played a lot of last man stands cricket. Sorry, Watson, number 22, on his back. Yes. Yeah, we watched a bit of um, Justin yesterday and he bowled really well. He, as you can see, he gets it through. I think this is a huge score, though, Steve. Yeah, it's going to take some chasing. Is that 187? Yeah, some amazing batting on display there. Okay. Great hitting. I mean, some of those sixes were monstrous. The wind's sw swirling here, Steve. I've been struggling to work out which direction it's blowing. Can you help me? Would you say the best when I'm hitting downwind or into the wind now? They're hitting into the wind. At the moment, so in yeah. the first game we saw, um, there was a few that held up, yeah. hitting down towards the church there in the distance. And they looked like they were going and they just sort of stalled, so yeah, they'll be hitting with the wind in the second turn. But yeah, they're going to need to get off to a good start, but it's not going to be easy here. It's Watson. There he is. it through. Good carry there, good pace, good carry. Uh, they've got the, the best bowl in the tech I've seen in the tournament, Steve, at the Conquerors. So I think 190, when you've got 190 on the board with the, the tech like this, uh, you're backing yourself. Yes. Very much so, yeah. They, I think they've impressed everybody that's watched them so far. Watson's in and bowls. That's been punched hard down to cover. Fielder comes around. And one score. That's over. So that's a pretty decent start there from Justin. So we're at the Wimbledon Cricket Club, just across the road from the Wimbledon Tennis. Great part of the London to be in, Steve. Yeah, it's beautiful. I had a guided tour this morning from Ross Kayward. Um, and yeah, it's lovely. Really, really nice. I think we've been spoiled with this venue. This must be one of our best venues we've played for, say that for Nationals. Yeah. So, really lovely sport. And I think Wimbledon Cricket the Club, they won the National T20 this yeah, year in the I club. They're, club a, so they, they're a serious cricket side from what I've heard. Some good players. Uh, scores four. There you go, Yes. So this is Imtiaz. He's just um, taken the pads off from a cameo of, I think he got 30 out of 10 oh, balls. Oh, him at the end? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So he's showing he's not just a batsman he can do everything and he's also an outstanding fielder he has a nice start there that's a good length are you surprised they've not gone for the power play so they've just run they're running here with a 3-3 field do you not think with the quality of yeah, bowling they'd go 4-2 I think my honest opinion I think they're very far ahead of the game Steve they're probably not having given a thought but I would definitely I've looked at that. I saw they did that yesterday, actually. Yeah. They did do that yesterday. Yeah, and and there's exactly the example of yeah. why you say that, Steve. That's if they got with the power play, they could have had an extra flow on the, the, on the offside there. It looks like they've got enough control in their bowling that yeah. they don't really need. So maybe for the viewers that aren't familiar with the power play, maybe just explain how that works, Steve. Yeah, so in last one stands, the first four overs and the last two overs are power play overs. 
and basically the team has the ability to set a 4-2 field so traditionally overs uh, 5 to 18 is a free free field that's played out to the square leg boundary I don't think it's going to go it's just been cut off there by Wilson I don't want to take his arm on yeah so in this stage of the competition it's something you see a lot more of the stronger teams will set a 4-2 field and it generally tends to work quite well if you've got bowlers with good control because you can yeah. go one side of the wicket, load the field, yeah. uh, load the offside and hang the ball out there. Yeah, you have to have, um, and it works especially well if you've got someone who can bowl a waist swing. Yes, you, yeah, exactly, because you, you, want, the, the, you want the batsman to try to play against the swing. Yeah. So in the first game this morning we saw Beacon Tree, they did it and they did it really well until the final over in the power play. That's a nice shot there, just gets on top of the bounce, plays it out to deep cover and they're going to come through for one. Yeah, the, um, as a batsman for uh, East London, he was Alan Jones. And the game wasn't, I mean, the first three or four overs were very quiet. And then the, third, the fourth over in the power play, he decided to sort of step across and hit the ball to leg. Yeah. And um, yeah, he picked up, I think, 16 off the fourth over. But the bowler didn't quite get it right. Was that to a 4 2 field? Yeah, 4 2 okay. field. So he didn't quite get it right. And it, that's where it cost them. But three overs before that, it was obviously a you know, really effective if play. If you've got the pace that um, Watson does, and you're going to bowl full out that off stump, it's a great option. Yeah, I don't think he needs a deep fine. Unless, he's the, unless, unless he does, like, he does like bowling not bounces, yeah. so that may be why they've kept the fine leg there. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> That's going to be That's caught and bowl. There's a caught and bowl chance. We'll just take yeah. it. There's that bouncer. Throws in the bounce every now and then. So that may be why they've done it, but... Rushed him for pace there. And that's um, the second court and bowl I've seen in this tournament. From Watson. Watson, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. too quick. Yeah, he's got some wheels, this boy. Yeah. From Johannesburg. Plays Premier League cricket. <coughs> and Toby. What a player he is. I believe you or not, he actually does him a bowl. He, told me he does not bowl for his club. He's played. He's been at the club for five years and he does not bowl. He and says he's not bowl. He's, he's got a, I think it, in his contract the MS team he, he said that he, he has to save himself for LMS <laughs> bowling, sir. <so>. Yeah. <laughs> so ten for one here. Yeah. New batsman striding out. Watson went to St. Stithian's College in Johannesburg, doing cricket in school. That school is Rabada. Okay. So this is uh, Usman Janai. He's coming to the crease, left hander. There we go, now they've okay, done so, the power plays. Yeah, all that talk of power plays, and now they've. Two to the left hander. So they've got a, so you won't see the field, so we've got a third man, deep backward point, deep cover, mid off, long on and a deep square leg. Steve, I think also so, the, the wind's blowing towards the, nice yeah, spray one down leg. Spray down leg side. How yeah, would you describe ball. the direction the wind's blowing here, Steve? White ball. It's blowing across the ground from there. Yeah, it's kind of like right to left, but kind of more towards us as well. So sort of diagonally across the ground from the scoreboard to to the pavilion. That's so they're heading into the wind. Yeah. Yeah. Just going to be bowling there with no fine legs, Steve. You want no. to just... Oh, oh he's, he's bowling! bowling. Oh, my just goodness. Justin Watson. Stumps what a delivery. everywhere. Clean bowling. Oh, my days. Wow. Yeah, I mean... That's a nut. Um, yeah, it is. I mean, I'm sure Wayne would agree with me as well. The man from Johannesburg. You know, I'm, 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 like I said, believe you me, he does not bowl in the league in Derby. They do, they do not bowl. He, he, he plays there as a batsman. Yeah, but I think the guys in the Derby are probably uh, scared of his pace. He's probably been banned from bowling. Yeah. So it wasn't a lot of footwork there. I wonder if the um, field may have set him up. I think he's waiting on the back foot. Yeah, yeah, short ball's coming and he's... Chucked it up there, and when I say chucked it up there, he's holding rockets really, and yeah. stumps everywhere. What a mess! Yeah, so. The new veteran's taking his time to come in. I think he's hoping to have heard that the was end of the over. The over call there, yeah. So Watson's uh, two for four from one point two. Next batsman is um, Basha Owen. Oh, uh, it's um, 
uphill task now for the Camilla guys. Losing two early wickets here. Steve, and uh, if anyone wanted to watch the highlights, can you explain to the viewers how they can go and watch the, the replay of some of these um, great moments? Of course, yes. Yeah. So if you visit lastmanstands.com, visit the, the uh, live scorecard for the page, every, every fixture page has a highlights tab. So if you scroll down, you'll see a highlights tab. From there, you can sort, you can search for moments in the game. So you can search by the player. So if there's a particular in player you're interested in, say Justin Watson, you can search his name. Well, well, yeah, that's like the off stamp. And it would bring up all the highlights from Justin Watson. So you can see all his fours, sixes. Um, also, if you just wanted to watch a highlight video of the game upon completion, uh, Last One Stands website automatically uploads a highlights video of the game that you can go back through and watch. And the full game highlights are available on our YouTube page. So you can go back through and watch this whole broadcast again if you so wish. Um, but the, the clips that are generated happen in real time. So the wickets that have just happened this over will be available on the last one. So that's that's website. Really. So that, that, yeah, that, so that poll that he's just taken, you can go to the website and you can yeah. see that yeah. poll bit. So Wayne, you could be out there and nick off and walk back to the walk back to the pavilion and by the time you're there and check your phone you can watch yourself get out again. Yeah. So. I think that's a an example that I'd be using. <laughs> Maybe if I managed it a four I'd be, I'd be looking to do that. But no, it's a it's a really popular feature that we have with Lassen Sands that players really like and, you know, who doesn't want to share their great cricketing moments with their community on social media so it's a nice feature so yeah. actually this game's all around the world being played at the moment this game's in South Africa now yeah there's games in Birmingham yeah. today we're playing the Autumn League it's the second round of fixtures I know um, Anil's got matches taking place in Coventry today as well so although it's September the cricket season's not over we've still got four more weeks of the Autumn League to go so we'll be playing into deep October uh, well, you know what the, with, the, with global warming maybe um, Autumn Leagues actually could be a, a thing of the, the future uh, yeah <laughs> There's one positive to global warming, you can maybe <laughs> run autumn cricket leagues. Yeah, I'm not sure it's something we want to um, put our name to, but... No, I... no, but we do have, um, I think there are maybe four awesome leagues now in the UK that are being played. So, as an ironic cheer as he's off the mark, and a raise of the bat. He's got a 1985 helmet on there. Yeah. Has he got like the open grill? <laughs> I think he's got a good dentist. That's a great shot there. That's a lovely there. shot. There. Smashed into the left side. Just taking that one straight off his rim of his helmet there. That's a genuine hook shot, Steve. We often see full shots, which you know, that's a genuine hook. Yeah. You tend to find the sort of shorter players yeah. tend to be quite good. Because, to be honest, they have to be, don't they? You've got to survive in the game. And... It could be a good opener and club cricket there. Yeah. Nice compact technique. Yeah, it's good control when you got on top and rolled the wrists and hit it hard as well. I wonder if he'll test him again, yeah? Just moving his field a bit square now. And the wind picking up here at Wimbledon Cricket Club. <coughs> Strong breeze across the ground. We've lost the bail. We've been fairly lucky with the weather so far, Steve. It hasn't been too much wind, no rain. That's yeah. the most important thing. Yeah, it's been... Um from the tournament as a whole really we've been lucky we had a round of 128 teams starting on the 3rd of September and no bad weather then 10th of September we had the round of 64 and 32 and again we got away with it and then we had a week off which was going to be our catch up week where it rained and then this weekend we've been blessed with good weather again so it's looking down on us at the moment a little bit windy though that's nice to go so he's gone full there and uh, Steve, earlier, great semi-final, tight game between the two teams from the East London area. Um, maybe you could just give the bit of a summary of that game. East London Eagles winning it. Yeah, so um, 
West London, they uh, won the toss and they chose to bat first, which at the time I think we thought was a strange decision just because the conditions were looked very conducive to um, bowling and Beacon Tree. They did really well. They actually bowled really nicely. Spinners bowled really well, lots of control, and they made I think it was about 137, which seemed a below par total. It didn't really seem like they were going to have enough. Especially when Beacon Tree, I think they only needed about 20 of about. 22 balls yeah four so and then, uh, we noticed yesterday with Beacon Tree they were I wouldn't say top heavy but their, their top order was very good um, and then when the guys retired on 50 yesterday the, the, the lower order they got the job done but perhaps didn't look as fluid as the rest and I think that's what happened today they just got a bit unstuck I think the occasion might well have got to them but I don't think it was a case that you know Beacon Tree give it away I think um, the East London Eagles just bowled really really well they filled it well because you know there was a couple of catches that went up and when you're looking down the barrel you know those can go down quite easily so yeah it provided a really exciting climax to the game and of course the guy who scored 50 came back in and wasn't able to to get the job done for them but I think you know they, the Beacon Tree did really really well I think to make it this far and you know, East London Eagles were a good side and, uh, yeah, they nearly. Yeah. But yeah, no, it was, a, it was a good game. So we'll have East London in the final. Okay, the winner of this match, which at this stage yeah, looks like it's going to be the Conquerors. But the Conquerors are in the driving seat for sure. But you know, yeah. it's LMS cricket. It's a long way to go in this game, but you know, I think it's not helping that they've got two more years of um, Justin to come here. He's bowling particularly well there's a right on cue he sends on down the leg side so East London Eagles I think they've gone and got some lunch they'll probably be following this game on the YouTube working yeah. out their tactics how they're going to play Justin Watson if they meet them in the final I think I'll just Try and get something on it. <laughs> I know, it's it sounds like the best like way to play. Just literally just two wides. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, he's bowling quick, and third man's not all that fine. There's a big gap between sort of third man and point, and there's a huge gap between cover and uh, mid off. So in, you, you can see he's going to bowl short. Use the pace. But if you're, you know, if you can get a bit of bat on it and guide it, I think there's runs to be had there. Yeah, I mean, that's a wide ball. This is almost your best hope that he does fire down a few wides at you. So there's seven runs of wides here. But he's already done some severe damage here, Steve, picking up two wickets. Yeah, uh, yeah, massive. He's got. He's probably used Bold. him as a strike bowler. Yeah, bowled a couple of seeds here, hasn't he? I don't think anybody's really got after him this time. So, oh, we lost the bail there. In his gather. I wonder if the, the winds also maybe put him a bit out of stride. You know, as a bowler, it's not easy. Oh, he's bowling. Yeah, he's bowling downwind, yeah, which is a fast bowler. Yeah, yeah. He should be loving should, that. He shouldn't be too much. Yeah. Yeah. All right. End of the over. Finished to the over there from Watson, just struggling with his line on a few occasions. But he's bowled three overs, and I think he'll probably take a break there. We saw in the first, or uh, well, in the last 16 in the quarterfinals, he, he only bowled three up front and then one at the back end. Just having a, a bail change here. Again, heavier bails, the wind's affecting now, so we need to get some heavier bails onto. The stumps. So, tournament director who's just sought out the bells, Steve, was that yep. heavier bells? Was that the request? Well, I was just sort of weighing them up, and I mean, I don't know how heavy the bells are out there, but they seemed a bit, yeah, a bit more heavy, so it should be okay now. But yeah, wind playing havoc here, the flow of the game. We'll soon find out. So this is a rub. What's your overall impression, Wayne, of the... You've obviously seen a lot of national finals. 
what's your overall impression this year, standard-wise, as good as ever? Um, well, I think the Conquerors, you know, they're right up there with um, teams we've seen in the past, like Team Manchester from yeah. 2010, 2011, were probably one of the better sides we've had in... They were, weren't they? They were great side. And Abby Diner, yeah. a FJT and the Prime were decent as well. Across the tournament, there's a whole of what you've managed to see in general. Yeah, it's been good. It's been yeah. good. This year, the London teams have actually done quite well. Yeah, I was saying that to um, a couple of guys earlier. I was chatting to saying that London's had a bit of a resurgence. They've been yeah. a bit quiet. We've had a bit of southeast dominance. Yeah. Um, and obviously, the Midland teams are always strong. I think you know, we had um, the Northern teams were quite strong as well, yeah, weren't they? As you say, Abbey Diner yeah. and Team Manchester were a good side. So yeah, it's nice to see the London teams featuring again. But Conquerors, they do look a good good outfit. Got special, every base covered. Special mention to Boom Boom Afridi from driving all the way from Leeds. I think they had the longest yes. journey of all the teams. Yes, so, they did, yeah. They struggled a little bit, but their first time in the at this stage of the competition. Yeah, it's difficult because obviously there's so much variance in standard across across our regions. Obviously, we have 900 teams. What a shot that is! That's gone all the way. It's a massive six. He's gone deep in his creep. Yeah. He's in. Pummeled it away. Heaved that over mid wicket. Great shot. He hasn't given up yet. <coughs> Last four. Yeah, the, the sort of difference in standard varies so much. Some regions are stronger than others, and it's not until you come to a national final you can sort of set yourself and see where you yeah. where you rank amongst the other teams you know in LMS that's a great shot again there Steve that's a lovely shot a lot of timing involved there found the gap well it's come back for two he's just starting to play quite nicely skillful player yeah Well, the Conquerors, of the 12 overs, Steve, in their innings, they only had 80 runs, 80, 85 runs. So they got 105 of their last um, eight overs. So. Some go and have the Miller got the firepower, though, to do that. Yeah, that's, 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 the, that's the big question. We'll find out. I mean, they, like we, I mean, we've talked about the win, but it does play a huge part. You know, and I think the second 10 overs they'll be hitting with the wind, so yeah, it could make a big difference perhaps. They've just got essentially got to get themselves into a position, they've got to rebuild here, get themselves into a position where they could go on and chase down this target. It's no good for them if they're four wickets down when they turn, when they do the turn. So it. There's, there's no bonus points in a knockout game, so you just, you just got to keep going, yeah. No, yeah not exactly. worry about wickets in hand, just no freedom. It's nicely bold, but maybe a little bit of shape there. Conquer is just showing what a good outfit they are. This is their fourth bowler. You... Yeah, this is um, Mamoon Tariq. Nice. Good swing. Have sugar. Looks like a, yeah, I think there's a little bit of a waist shape there, Wayne. Which is yeah. Like, must be doing something with it. It's yeah, so uh, nowhere near. Handy cricket to this man. So Mubasha Awan, he's three off eight balls, so it's not. Just chewing a few up here at the moment. It's not what they need no, right now. I don't think he's the regular number four as well. I don't know. No, there's I'm been a, a look. Well, there's that ironic of, cheer when yeah, he's that ironic, scored so I'm not sure if he's convinced he should be out there because the teammates don't seem convinced. There was, as you said, there was a bit based of irony off, in there. I think based off those three balls, it possibly not. Although we have, he scored, he scored 13,000 runs. 13,000 runs? You know, last month, that's good. Yeah. He's played 458 games. Oh, well, then he's... Uh, Average is 48. Okay, well, so probably maybe he's hiding something, yeah? Yeah, maybe we're not giving him enough credit here. Let's find out. No, it's four plays and misses now, so a maiden here is not what's required for Camilla. You can see the non-striker just looking down at the ground now, probably a bit frustrated. He's not been able to get on strike for this over. But yeah, he's the highest score of 134, so he can play the game. But he's three off ten here. He needs to get back on ball. 
has. And it's only going to be one. I was looking at two, but no. Probably the last thing you need after four dot balls is then to get a single and yeah. obtain the strike. <laughs> yeah, especially how well uh, one arrow is batting at the other end. <laughs> so it will sort of be six balls where he's not been on strike, which is when you're going well, that's you know, the last thing you want. It feels to me, Stephen, I hate saying it, it feels to me like Camilla have given up here. There wasn't even anyone from the side line showing any dis disappointment. I feel they. There we go, that's better. There we go. Steve, I'd like to see Islam open up now. He's got the shot. Small man, but he packs a punch. Can he get to 50 in the next five, six deliveries yet? Yeah, I think, you know, if they're going to hunt this down, they need one guy back in the hutch on 50. And he's had a look. He's played it. He's kind of no. clothed that into the offside. Come through for one. Camilla is a, a town in um, Bangladesh. Steve, I'm going to put you on the spot, but your Bangladesh geography. Which part of Bangladesh is Camilla from? Uh, it's the southern part of Bangladesh. Oh, good. Is that, that's correct. That's correct, Steve. Well done. Uh, very good at geography, actually. You can ask me more geography based questions if you like. They get a lot of rain in Bangladesh. I also know that. Which state is the the closest state in India to Bangladesh? Uh, I'm not very good on that. I you failed your first one there. That's Kolkata. Oh, come on, I got that. Kolkata. Look at that city, West Bengal. Say that again, Anu. West Bengal. West Bengal's the state, and the city is Kolkata. <laughs> Thank you, Neil, for correcting me there. <laughs> That's why it's called Bengal. The Bangladesh Bengal. Yeah. I got the city right. I just used the wrong terminology. Yeah. Right, so it's been a pretty um, tepid last 10 balls, really, for Camilla. They've just kind of completely stalled here, Wayne. Uh, what's going to happen here? Something's going to happen this over, surely. So he's guided that down oh, through back the shot. That's a lovely shot. It's not going to go lush outfield here at Wimbledon Cricket Club. And he runs away for two. So the Conquerors at the moment are in full control. And to make matters worse, they ran one short as well, signalled by umpire Cox. It's the last thing you need yeah. to hear, one short. <laughs> It looks like a slow one, maybe. Just guided into the offside for one. So I think they're going to have to go now. What the run required run right now must be jumping up. Let's have a good look. Yes, yeah, so we're up to 11.6 and over required. They're only going at fives. Sorry, 12.5 required now. Well, 12.5 actually, you know, that's not game over. You know, 12.5 is still in the game, but it's three boundaries and over. And there's a wicket must not taken. Help. Oh, hello. Stiff to land in. We have a tough job next game. So there's a nice... The um, only way to put these guys off the game is cause a riot or something. It's, uh, we should go back to Islam. Which we said. Same, same. Nice you innings got, there got from Islam, I think. He sort of carved the um, image of a frustrated batsman there, where he's not really getting much strike for the last two overs. And I think that jump bounced down the pitch, probably showed where he was. But you said it was only 12 and not only, but I, the way the game's flown, it feels like it's 15, 16, but 12 and half and over, you actually still have a chance, but you need you well, need you two batters to come and get 50 off 20 you gotta, balls. You've you know? got to hit a couple of boundaries yeah. and over. Yeah. But you're not out At the least. game. You're not out the game. Okay. A couple but, boundaries and over. So they've only hit three boundaries. That's the problem. It doesn't hit, look they like they they're going to... Yeah, they've hit three boundaries and eight over, and they need to hit three boundaries and over from now yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But we won't write them off. It's a funny old game. A lot can happen. I think with the, the Conquerors bowling attack, you're not going to be getting too many freebies. So yeah. You're going to have to make the play. What's the um, spin box, spin options, Wayne? Do you know much? 
Yeah, they've got a left arm spinner. Okay, sure. Which name here, but it looks handy. Yeah. So they've got, they've got all bases covered. They stepped across the crease there already. Open up the leg side. White ball. White ball signaled by the pipe up. It's like a big unit here, the new bathroom. Yeah, so this is uh, Mozaru Hak Sajib. Uh, it's one off one. He looks like he's got the power. Can he find a much needed boundary here? They need a maximum, yeah. That's a tough ass when you when you just got out there, but he's having a look. He must be getting some swing out yeah, there. Yeah, I think he's getting in good shape. Last ball. Oh yeah. Omar on commentary has just commented on what a good ball that was. So. This is the fourth bowler used, Steve. So it shows what a good attack they've got. They've got Justin Watson who bowls serious pace up front. They've got MTS in good areas. Then Zeru bowling a bit of in swing. And now we've got the away swing. To Rick. Yeah. That one's slower as well, so he's bowling like a slower ball, but it's almost like the arm's coming over slower rather than yeah, yeah. sort of dropping the hand one side of the ball. But that completes the ninth over, score 46 for three from nine. Nine overs, 46 for three. So it's almost getting to three a ball now, Steve. Yeah. yeah it's not over, but they are going to have to go. Whether they're Maybe they're heading their bets on hitting down with the breeze. They're leaving too much there. There's an awful lot of runs to score. I mean, the, the breeze has kind of dropped as well. So, yeah, so Rube continuing here. So he bangs that one in. Batsman not really in a position to do a lot with it. Thank you. Just been brought some teas in the commentary box. Thanks, Rube. In the pod. <laughs> commentary pod. Commentary pod. Thank you. Well bowled by Zarud. So the batsman was looking to go leg side and he just fired in a wide Yorker. Nice shot, he's hit that one down the ground. I don't think it's going to carry, it hasn't. Wide him it off, and they've only, they've only made it three for one. So there's obviously the semi finals of the national champs, and um, winners will get a prize win. Can you tell us what's in store for the team that come out on top today? Uh, so the winning team uh, qualifies for the Last World four. Championship, and they get £5,000 travel voucher to, to help them get to the World Champs. And is that the World Champs this year? Or? Well, they can choose if they want to. Um, I think. Logistics wise, they might struggle to get to Cape Town in December because it's closer, more likely to be 2024 World Champs, but they'll have the option. Okay. Um, Do we know where that's taking place yet? Yes, yeah, so in Cape Town this year, 2023 World Champs in Cape Town. Yep. 2024 is yet to be confirmed. Okay. It will be announced um, by the end of the year, and then the team will be able to. To use that voucher, that five thousand pounds towards the travel costs and hotel costs and plane costs. There's the the banner up there, the World Champs banner. And the World Champs that features the best teams, LMS teams from around the world. Yeah. So we're what, in how many countries now? Is it Eleven, 11 countries. countries? Yeah. So is, that, is it an open invite or is it? Yeah, you, you have, have to, to, you have to, call, you have to make, meet certain requirements. So. Uh, the current champions, Masagami from Johannesburg. They uh, beat the team from Bangladesh, the Dhaka Warriors, in the final last year. And how many teams to send on Cape Town? 32 teams. 32 teams, teams. Okay. For a week? For well, a week, yeah. Eight okay. groups of four. Oh, brilliant. I assume all games will be streamed live on our YouTube channel as well. Yes. Yeah. All games streamed live. More wonderful commentary. Sham! Who's doing the scoreboard?
think we're in this this lull of cricket that's just kind of continued now for three overs where there doesn't appear to be an awful lot happening. Could it be the calm before the storm here, Wayne? Um, I hope be. so, Steve, but I think, uh, <laughs> I think it's... Camilla Warriors have almost resigned themselves to uh, the fact that this one's got away from them. Yeah. So situation at the moment, we're up to uh, nearly 15 runs and over here, Wayne. And... Two to come. Mubasha's 11 off 21 deliveries, so it's not the innings that's been required for an experienced player, 400 games. He favours the offside there, Steve. So yeah, I think they've, yeah, they've worked that out. It's just yeah. that back of a length and yeah. the pads he seems to be struggling with a little bit. Steve, I'm going to be taking a break after this over. Yeah, of course. Uh, it's been a pleasure having you in the pod. And we're going to have Ross Coward, the main man, um, to come back. And he's going to be throwing in some of his cliches, Steve. So he's only allowed one cliche and over. So just make sure you don't. he doesn't use his full up and yeah, that's fine. I'll keep a close eye on it for sure. And that's nicely bold. It's finished. So thanks for joining us, Wayne. Pleasure as always. And good good afternoon, Steve. welcome young Ross Kaywood to the commentary box. How are you, buddy? Fortunately, you've joined us at a time where the game's just... Camilla have not obviously got off to the best of starts. Yeah. There's been some high quality bowling here. And... Yeah, I think the target's perhaps looking a little bit too big at the moment, which is not making for, for great viewing at the moment. May still be entertained yet, Ross. We could uh, try and entertain our viewers with some interesting conversation. Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> Shall I get someone else to come on? <laughs> oh dear. So we've got to... Yeah, we've got to uh, keep it purely cricket here. Yep. Coming into bowl is Abdullah Tahir. Okay, so we've got a change of bowler here. This is Abdullah Tahir. I don't believe he's bowled yet, so this is the fifth option now. Clean some options there, eh? Yeah, it certainly is, Ross. Oh, here the we go. Spinner. I can tell you what. Oh. The man to my right is getting excited here, so one great left arm spinner is going to talk you through this over. He's a tall man, so he obviously gets a lot of turn and bounce. Looks like he, <laughs> he gets it above the bowler's eye line. Oh, he's a, yeah, okay. Yeah, nice there. Ross, tell me, what do you need to be a good, to be a quality left arm spinner like yourself? What sort of characteristics? <laughs> what makes a good left arm spinner? Basically, uh, you've got to be uh, positive, always backing yourself to outthink the batsman. Okay. You've got to be prepared to get. Have you, have you outfought a number of batsmen in your time? I have. Just be prepared to get hit. <laughs> <laughs> This season, particularly, I disappeared uh, over the boundary a few you times. Racked up a few air miles. Yeah. Yeah. Oh dear. But that's kind of the risk of the war, I guess. Yeah. This is not easy bowling uh, left on spin or any spin on artificial pitch. No, of course, no, very unforgiving. Yeah. No spin, it's a, really. It's a, it's a batter's game. Yeah, absolutely. You can talk us through your batting later, perhaps. Well, batting. Uh... Yeah. Well, that's a shot that's gone down the ground, but it's going to be held. No, it's not. Oh! <laughs> Not sure if you saw that there on camera, but it's a valiant effort there from the fielder. Great effort. I mean, that would have been some catch. I'm not sure whether had he caught it, he would have been able to prevent himself from tumbling over the boundary, but it's a wonderful effort. So, at last, we have a boundary, Ross. It's just brought a turn of uh, change of luck. So, 127 from 40 balls. It's a Kilimanjaro to climb, yeah? <laughs> yep. We haven't started the over, so that one doesn't count. <coughs> so, and then Mabu Tahir starting to bowl his last over. It's been pretty economical, just eight runs off his three overs. Yeah, he's been lucky that he's managed to bowl to this guy for most of it. Hasn't really been able to lay a bat on the ball. But me and Wayne were looking at his record and he's played like 450 games and averages 48, so yeah, he's an LMS veteran, but he's just struggled today with the swinging ball, I believe in it. I think you might get some more swing bowling from this end with the way of wind coming from right to left as we look at it, Ross. So. He's gone downtown there. I don't think he's got enough on it. And... Oh! oh. I don't know whether the wind maybe just lost it in the wind there. But. A lot of hard work to get there. If you put the dive out, body on the line, that's before a big final. Should you be doing that? Well, yeah, exactly, Ross. Would you die for that one? Absolutely yeah. not. Team player. <laughs> <laughs> 
sort of falling gracefully in installments. Exactly. Nice, just played that one down to my leg. They're going to come back for two. He's taken on the arm. That's good running there by the Camilla Warriors. It just kind of sort of was very um, pedestrian in the way he approached the ball there and picked up on that. So nicely done. Ross, you're a big fan of the run rates. How are we looking here? Can we have a quick look at yeah. the scorecard. Yeah, it's that slower ball again, so just bringing the arm over a little bit so can't see if it's a knuckleball from here, but... 124 of 37. That's what's required. That's a ball. Yep. It's, uh, it's many a run. It's his final ball of his spell, he's just played that into the offside. Tell you what, that's going to go for four, and it has. Again, the field on the body hasn't put on no, the body on the line. Yeah. 13 overs. 70 for three. Very easy game from here. Okay, so just starting to build a little bit of momentum here, the Camilla Warriors. Could be getting uh, So Steve, getting a bit if, uh, excited. Yes, Ross. if we get a bit of a head ahead of ourselves and, and look at the, the likelihood of the Conquerors playing in the final, yes. do you think whoever wins the toss is going to bet first? Yeah, that's a very good question, Ross. Thanks for asking. Um, I think that they probably will, yes. Yeah, because East London Eagles, made, they won the toss this morning and they chose the bat, which I yeah. thought was a really, I know we were almost stunned on commentary, weren't we, Ross? Yeah. Um, especially when we saw the ball seeming around like it did and it swung. But it's obviously something, you know, if they're prepared to bat first in those conditions, then I'm fairly convinced they want to bat now. Yeah. And I think these guys will probably bat first because they want the, the scoreboard pressure. So, Absolutely. yeah, it could be a good toss to win. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be essential. But it's, I mean, it's going to be a belter of a game. Yeah. Two great sides, and it's going to be. Um, it's certainly going to be a bit feisty. There's another play and miss there. Yeah. Will be emotional this time. Oh, I think so, yeah. 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 But it is, you know, they, these guys have played a lot of cricket in the whole league season. They've played all the knockouts, and it's all on one game. Yeah. £5,000. And a chance to win, sorry, to be the champions of England and. Go to a world championship. Absolutely. And they come back for two. I tell you what, this is. That looked for all money that it was going to hit the stumps now, hasn't it? It's a lot of all. So it goes with uh, the reputation and the bragging rights of carrying that title for 2023. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I know as uh, franchise holders, we all want our teams to win, so I know Maz is very excited about potentially having a winning team yeah. from Derby. What, East London, are they yours or? Ian Selby's team. Yeah, they're from the Leighton League, which is my league. Oh, so it could be a London... But they also do, some of them do play in one of the Redbridge teams. Yeah, okay. So we could, Ian and I could share it, if they, did, if they did get through. When was the last time you had a winner? It must have been FJT Stallions. Oh, and he's yeah! gone, he's gone! Okay. That's gone! Mind the cars! Whoa! Oh, gosh, we still haven't hit a car. <laughs> Quite short. We've been so lucky this weekend. We've had the weather and we've had no accidents. That's uh, gone down Boomtown. Wonderful shot there. I don't yeah. really know where that came from, but I love yeah, it. Nearly gone into the All England Tennis Club. New balls, please. So Mabasha moves on to 27 from 30, so even with that six, he's still, um, still in, the, in the red. So he's 27 of 30. Yeah. Finally, we've seen some fireworks from him. I know. I think it's not, it's not been that he hasn't been trying, it's just been very good not unfortunately been able to hit the ball. Yeah. So what's the left arm spinner to here going to do here? Is he going to chuck it up again? Well Ross, what would you do? I would ball from behind the, the crease. Okay. Same ball, so the batsman would think he's got the same ball coming and then he'll be played too early and get it up in the air and get caught. Oh yeah, they got it. I've got many a wicket like that. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> Right, well, let's see if he's going to do that. So he's not. Uh, let's see if we want Ross. He's chucked it up there, I think. Yeah. It's quite a bit a wider. Bit, yeah, a little bit wider. I like that, though. Yeah. I think that's a good... You know, he's asking the batsman to hit him for six over cover, and I don't know if this over, got to it in the locker. He's 109 required of 30. You know, the T20 cricket says a bowler. You've got to be bowling. You can't let batsmen get comfortable. You've got to keep... Keep them guessing. Yeah, absolutely. Playing different balls, different lengths, different lines. Yeah. Otherwise, you would, you would disappear. Do you think if you had your time again, you would be a, you'd have a chance of being a T20 specialist? Or? Uh, 
I don't think so, Steve. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. thanks for, for uh, considering the, the option. So, so 80 for free are off 14, so yeah, we're a little bit behind. Ah, so this is the uh, the sixth bowler, and he's got a wicket. No, he has. Yay! Oh, yeah. Got him. Second grab is. Yeah, he did a little bit of juggling there. He's held on to it. He's held on to it, and this very much has the feel of um, game set and match, Ross, at the old New England Tennis Club. Yeah, that's a very, that's very uh, apt, apt, appropriate. You can use that in the final if you're on commentary. I don't mind. That's <laughs> game set and match. <laughs> Yeah. And the bowler's having a practice ball, which is the most village thing I've seen in the yeah. like seven final semi final. I probably should stop it. Yeah. Yeah. Coming in the back, Kazi, Tembo, Islam. So, Spirits are high still with the Camilla guys. Yeah. Nice yeah. cheer for the batsman as he makes his way back. Effort for them to get this far to the final four of uh, out of 930 odd teams this year. Exactly, Ross. So, I had a uh, conversation yesterday with Shah, who runs Lance of Stands in Manchester, and he, his teams came with very high hopes and their games, and they were disappointed. And Shah explained to me that he spoke to them and said that they should be proud for making it this far. Yeah. Like, you are, if you make it to this. nothing to be ashamed of. Of course you're disappointed, you wanted to do better. But it's a remarkable achievement to make it this far. So I agree. Yeah, you know, this is the best of the best. It's yeah. meant to be hard. You do uh, also need a certain amount of luck in the weekend like this for things to go your way. Yeah you do. Yeah. yeah. You're absolutely right. So Zane Ash back here, so he's likes to hide hiding the ball. his ball yeah. behind back it's doesn't really in. matter because it's gone miles that is going to hit the bus surely yay we got one I think it's hit, it's hit the bins yeah thankfully it hasn't hit the party bus that brought the conquerors all the way from Derby uh, disappeared over long on our time we see some fireworks they not got so it's gone downtown Hope Sajib. Hope Sajib. Nice shot there. He's going to need a few more of those. Seeing that they need 100 off 27 balls. I mean, every ball's got to go there, basically. So Zane's just holding, he's hit it behind his back, and he's, he's not getting a lot of bounce here, Ross. It's quite kind of skiddy, isn't it? Yeah. So, Sajib is one of my umpires. He actually umpires the Leighton League, where the Leighton uh, okay. East Eagles play. He's going to bother this, huh? Behind the back as well, and it looks like an off spinner. Go big that again. one's gone big as well, and that's going to go all the way. That won't be caught, and it's into the side screen. So, two sixes there off the over. 15 overs. Because he's hit four. his second ball for six. So, it's uh, 95 from 25. So, that's just brought the run rate down to 19, Ross. Yeah. So, it's a good over there for as, as a, Camilla Pye still. Uh, as a betting man, Steve, would you give uh, Camilla Warriors any chance here? Yes, because I'm not very good at it. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm afraid not, Ross. I think this one's all. Yeah, so it's never done. Over. I don't think they'll be bringing back their star bowlers for risk of injury, and they're just just going to play this one out and hopefully. And it's oh, gone again. Go. This is going to be a catch. It's really coming around Justin catch. Watson. Oh, he's taken it and he's thrown oh, it up. Oh, oh no! Oh, and they stopped it. That oh my word! An unbelievable effort for that. both fielders. Oh. Huh? No. Well, I mean, he saved six. Yeah, they nearly took the catch. I mean, that's wonderful effort there by uh, Watson. Unfortunately, his mate just got a bit too close for the rebound. That would have been would have been unbelievable. Yeah, it's just <laughs> cricket of the highest level, Ross. We're seeing here at Wimbledon. Some absolute scenes. Do you agree? Absolute scenes, yeah, at Wimbledon. Sun, as the sun starts to come out, the cricket and gods are smiling on us today, Ross Bayward. Sun will set tonight as another season comes to an end. Yeah. Oh, oh and that guy. one's gone as well. Now that one is that is out of here, and that is going to hit. That's a car. That is a car. That's a car. Ladies and gentlemen, that noise was a car. Okay. Okay. 
And so, some late fireworks here from the Camilla Warriors. Here they come. Smash down the ground as well. Watson comes around and great field in. Nice to take in and a good throw. He's a bit of an athlete. Yeah, Down to 87 of 21. Yeah. That's going to be a wide ball. He's wide just ball. tried to hold it back. He's suggesting that the batsman stepped across, which is the old. Uh, Double bluff. So yeah, that's what they all do, don't yeah. they? Right? So we're wise to that here at Asman Sands. Yeah. Extensively trained umpires. But it didn't damage either of us. For some point. Oh, really? So the car's safe then, Shibia? Yeah. It's just, it's, now it's a convertible. Roof's caved in. Sharp work there by the keeper. 16 overs, 103 for 4. 86 required of 20. It was a test. Uh, Whose car is it? Last two overs. This is about four overs left. Remember, 86 required. No, no, no. Let's go back to 21. So they're going to continue here with saying Ashwak. I mean, he. No, this is Ashwak. That one into the off. Yeah, he's moving oh, Anil's car. <laughs> oh, it's Anil's car. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's moving it up here. Yeah. Okay, now guess what? If the ball comes right up here. <laughs> so uh, the loud bang you heard was the lever upon Tesla. Up on! Owned Did by. Did he hit the Tesla? Yeah, which is owned by uh, Anil Lohan. Uh, uh, Runs last for Sands. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, didn't bounce. Just to show us how well built those cars are. Yeah, exactly. It's a good advert for Tesla here. Just be watching that Elon Musk play them. Wonderful stuff. Boys gonna come here. Make sure you go for the cat. Scoring. Third third. and it's gone again. Not been able to get under that one. So. So as this game comes to its uh, denouement, the betting Been practice here for bit, yeah. Islam and Sajid. Oh, they could have batted up the order. It could have been a different ball game. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. You're in charge of that. But it's not. And they're going to try and try and entertain us. And playing there, they'll be playing their last game of the season, so they'll be wanting to finish off on a high. Last ball to do something basically. Yeah, right. I think it was always going to be a tough task to chase down a total by this yeah. against such a quality bowling side. So, we've seen it this weekend. It just kind of it's got such a good side. Yeah. That's a full toss there. It's been blazed out to the leg side. Fielders just standing around. He's asking for a no ball, but the fact that it was below his knee rolls not going to help him. Scores it over to one twelve. <laughs> 15 balls left, semi final. Huge 77 required. Wado comes back onto the, into the attack, so. Yes, yeah, the last thing you want to see is a batsman. Yeah. 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 Justin Watson what happened? Is, last over. is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good, Ross said it's a good advert for Tesla. Well built cars. It was a hit by a ball. Yeah. Everybody complains our balls are too hard, but obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> It's a better, it's a good outfit for Tesla, but better outfit for LMS balls. Yeah. How can it damage the ball? Yeah. Uh, Watson in and bowls. Yeah, run out's on. The run out is on. Good backing up there from Mashback. One feels these uh, conquerors are just trying to preserve a bit of energy for their final. Yeah, I think so. What time's the final kick off for us? Yeah, Fifteen minutes behind schedule. Yeah. This will probably finish in about ten minutes. Well 
of old. It's a good move there, difficult yeah. to get away. This guy can play, I'm not quite sure why he's batted so low here, Ross. Do you know why? I'm not sure at all. No. Perhaps he's just not had the best tournament so far. Oh, yeah. They've just sort of hidden him away. But... So, um, what is the quickest bowler we had this uh, weekend? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, by a long shot. Yeah, I haven't seen anybody get near. Last ball. Getting near his pace. It is hard, you know, it, you don't see many out and out quicks in LMS because of the 12 yard run up. But I mean, I don't think he'd bowl much quicker with more of a run up. Like, he's kind of. 18 overs, he's sort of one, two, tilt by the time four. he gets to the crease. Justin Watson, 4 overs, 19 But nobody's, two nobody's really dealt, like, been able to deal with him. I haven't seen anybody try and use the pace of the ball. Yeah. Like, even that over there. Guys are trying to hit him down the ground. I don't think that's where you've got to go. I think you've got to try and be a little bit more smart. Use his pace, hit the gaps. If someone's bowling that quick, you don't need to. Yep. Seventeen three runs required off ten. Looks like he's only played his LMS in, in England. It'd be interesting to to see him go back to South Africa in the, the winter. See if he joins the LMS team there. Yeah. Loads of a. Uh, yeah, there are a few leagues in South Africa. Teams in Joburg where he probably resides. Have you gone to school in uh, Johannesburg where we, we are did? Okay. Did you go to school with him? Or? Uh, he went to Sicilians. Oh, right. Okay. A rival school of ours. Oh, really? Which one's better? King Edwards. Oh, okay. Kez. Kez. Up, up the Kez. Up the Kez. <laughs> okay, so. Now the intensity now suddenly coming to. This could have been done a few overs ago. Come back there, they made it. Shabash, shabash. So 69 required from 9. Okay. Let's see you guys. These Egyptian geese. Oh my god, there's the geese. Here they are. They're just coming for the final. <laughs> <laughs> they know it's a big... Uh, <laughs> know it's a big game on here in Wimbledon. <laughs> Seven balls to go in the semi final. Here come the, here come the regulars. <laughs> Another play and a miss, so all, Last ball. all swing and no dinger here, Ross Kayward. Yep. So if you uh, are on this live stream yet, don't leave us. We'll be starting the, the main final in about 20 minutes. That's played out to the offside, on the side, and it's going to go to deep square. Deep mid, yeah, taken. Great catch there. Simple catch. Made it look simple, Ross. Yeah. Good footwork. Right, 19 overs, yeah. 122 for 5. So this has been a bridge too far for the Kabir Warriors. Yeah. 3 overs, 18 runs, 1 wicket. Spirited effort, though. They've had a real good go. Yeah. I think they'll be disappointed that they've sort of timed it so late mm. they've obviously got guys that can play cricket like they're decent players yeah. I think they were just completely coming into bat Mohamed Umer I mean, they, they were 25% of the game the first 10 overs they were probably on top mm. and then the power hitting from Conqueror just the last over of the blew I mean I think Wayne was saying on Conqueror it was like 100 runs or 8 overs mm. maybe more and it's just completely knocked the wind out of their sails and Yeah, I think it's just been an uphill struggle, but yeah, and, um, they kept going, they tried. Burhan Mahmood, who sort of was the, the hero in the quarter-final yesterday, getting out in the first over, didn't help their cause. Yeah, there's a big setback for them. Oh. Oh, he's throwing it up there. He's, uh, two balls to go, yeah. That was gone to long on, and that's taken as well. So, a little bit of catch in practice here to finish off the uh, the afternoon. Catch it long on there by Wado. He's never going to drop that one. Coming into bat, Rafsan Zaman. Two balls. 
stage, you're probably hoping that the guy doesn't get out so you don't have to put your pads on. Yeah. <laughs> Two balls to go from this innings. And then it's going to be a Conquerors in the final against the East London Eagles. Should be a feisty affair. No doubt. Great contest. Wide rate, Steve, is 165. Two balls left to come in the inning. Past the commentary box is uh, the captain of the Wimbledon Dream Team, Brett Reeve. Says not out. So here we go. So final ball. Final ball of the game. Last ball of the inning. Quite right, just 220. So final ball. In and bowls full bunger. Whack down the ground. Yeah, it's and we'll oh. So it's a free hit. This game just not ending. Danny, come on! Well done for staying enthusiastic. Right, it's been a little bit of a dance script perhaps. But that can happen. And that was played down the ground, legitimate delivery, and that will bring the game to a close. So it's the Conquerors who are going to progress to the national final at the last man stands. UK Championships. So they'll be taking on the East London Eagles, Ross Hayward. Should be a fantastic Derby versus London. What an occasion here in Wimbledon. We're back in our 10th 